It is May 2021 and since the borders of the Netherlands are still closed for traveling, we decided to visit a destination in the country. The first couple of nights we stay at a beautiful hotel that is based in a former monastery, which was built in the 14th century. The city of Maastricht is split up by the river Maas. We limited our trip to the western side of the river, where the old city center is located. Most of the touristic sites are in walking distance including some of the highlights of our visit. The bishop's mill is a water mill that is still in use today. Every morning the miller grinds a variety of spelt, which is used by the adjoint bakery to bake bread and various kinds of delicious sweet tart called vlaai. A must to try when visiting Maastricht. In the city there are many religious buildings. Some of them, like our hotel, have gotten a new function over the years. One of them is the Dominicanen, a beautiful gothic church that nowadays functions as a bookstore. Dominicanen is consistently listed as one of the most beautiful bookstores in the world. In the Netherlands you never know in advance what the weather will be like. On average there is some kind of precipitation 180 days a year. We decided to visit the Basilica of Saint Servatius on one of those rainy days.
After staying a couple of days in one place, we decided to move to another hotel. After a 15 minute drive, we reached our new accommodation. An imposing former castle at the Vaas Hertelt estate with a rich history, which was once owned by Dutch King William II. After a 20 minute walk from the parking area at St. Peter Fortress, we reached the lookout point overlooking the NC quarry. From here you can descend the stairs with over 200 steps into the quarry. Quite the adventure if you are afraid of heights like myself. In the quarry you can follow a lovely walking path to enjoy this unique scenery. Hand in hand, building castles out of sand, reaching for the
Our journey to Maastricht comes to an end after a week. While we were forced to stay close to home because of the pandemic, this trip showed us the beauty that exists in our own country. The atmosphere in the south of the Netherlands is completely different than closer to Amsterdam. And this holiday reminded us that we don't have to travel far in order to have a great experience. And yet, for our next trip, we will have to drive over 14 hours to reach our destination.